Sit down, Tissy. Sit down. Good morning, guys. Larry the Tractor Guy here. Hey, uh, man, it is going to be a hot day today. Triple digit temperatures today. I think that we're looking at 103 today. It's going to be pretty hot. Um, we got several calls to make today. Uh, we're going to go out and look at a 9430 tractor today and just basically look it over, do some maintenance things that the customer wants done. And uh, when we get out there, we're going to talk about that a little bit. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so we're out here this morning at this customer's farm on this 94. 30 tractor and uh, we're just going to do some maintenance items that the customer requested so I guess the big question for me is do you replace a water pump or do you not replace a water pump or when do you replace a water pump and how many hours should you put on a water pump before you replace the water pump so this tractor's got about almost 2500 hours on it and the customer requested that we go ahead and change out his water pump and looking back and looking at service intervals and that kind of thing, I think it's a pretty good idea to replace the water pump around 3,000 hours. And then one of the other things that, that we've seen on water pumps is usually if the water pump is going out or, or beginning to go out, you'll see some leakage around the water pump and it does have a weep hole back behind the water pump here that you would see coolant leaking out of um, we don't see any of that but we're going to go ahead and uh, put a new water pump on at the customer's um, request and then also we're going to look at the valves and and adjust the valves and run the overhead on the engine now what i found on the valves and on the overhead a lot of times around that 2500 hour mark <clears throat> we'll find the exhaust valve sometimes loose and then also we'll find the injector preload uh, needs to be adjusted as well. And uh, so when we get that valve cover off in a little while, we'll, we'll look at that and we're gonna go ahead and continue on with replacing the water pump and the thermostats and then also put new coolant in the tractor. So we've got this water pump removed here. I wanna take a look at this real quick. So one of the reasons that you want to do this service interval at around 3,000 hours and replace this water pump is because it is a gear driven water pump as you can see so it drives off of the timing gears in the engine so I'm gonna flip this over show you where that weep hole is so that weep hole is right there that will leak coolant out so that when you know the water pump is bad or the seals leaking in the water pump you'll have coolant leaking out of that little weep hole there okay if it gets critical enough it can potentially put coolant in the engine oil since it is a gear driven water pump and so i think it's pretty good practice to replace these water pumps around 3,000 hours and then go ahead and change your coolant and your thermostats at the same time um, i think one of the service intervals on coolant and thermostats is every two years um, but we typically see, usually they don't, that doesn't get done. So, um, it's a pretty good idea to do this at about 3000 hours. So we're going to go ahead and put the new water pump on and continue on here. So here we are on the top of this engine. We've got the valve cover removed and, uh, we're viewing the valve train here on this engine on this 9430. And real quick, I wanted to show you what. I was explaining earlier about why we need to adjust the valves at you know 2500 hours that's when i like to adjust the valves on these 13.5 engines because i've found this so many times so i'm going to show you what i'm looking at here so basically the clearance on the exhaust valves in the book the spec and service advisor is 43 thousandths on the exhaust valves okay so i've got a filler gauge in here and you can see how loose that really is so we're right there on the loose side we're probably i'm guessing we're probably somewhere around 46 47 thousandths okay on our exhaust clearance and uh so it's pretty important to go ahead and run the overhead on these 13.5 engines um around 2500 hours is what i like to see and uh, we're going to go ahead and run through these valves and then i'll also show you a quick 
check on the injector preload and we'll look at that in a few minutes so stay tuned so injector preload on a 13.5 engine is around 0 0.75 millimeters okay of preload on the injector which also is a half round okay so i've got my my uh, break over on the adjuster screw and i've got zero lash there so i would take it a half around okay so initially when i checked the injector on number five here which is the first injector to adjust during adjusting the valves i found that it only had about a quarter of a turn of preload which probably made it about half of that 0.75 millimeters so another thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about whether you should or whether you should not go ahead and adjust your valves on your 13.5 i would say that it's a pretty good idea for engine performance to go ahead and adjust the valves on these engines at 2500 hours so another thing that we're running a pretty good inspection on uh, when we're adjusting the valves around that 2500 hour mark is we're also looking at these rollers okay and so we're just looking to make sure that all of our rollers are good and tight that we don't have a roller that's gouged up or scarred up really bad because it would be a good time if we did to go ahead and try to clean up that camshaft and go ahead and replace a rocker arm if need be and so just something to keep in mind when when you're running overhead and and uh, kind of looking at things take a pretty good look at at these rollers on the end of these rocker arms. Well, we just finished up here with the 9430 adjusting the valves on the engine and uh, then also went ahead and replaced the water pump on this engine. Put a new water pump on there and uh, I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty good uh, service interval on these 13.5 liter engines. Uh, keep that water pump changed out. It's pretty important about every 3,000 hours. And then on the valves, I really like to try to adjust those about every 2,500 hours. And uh, seems to work out really good. And uh, just kind of alleviate some of those problems that can come along. And uh, those, are, those are a couple of pretty important um, service intervals to keep up with on these 13.5 liter engines. And uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. I uh, hope that helps you out, and uh, Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work, I think. You're going to have to make it work. We'll make it work, come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already burning me out. We're sitting in the sun over here, man.